We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you today. It's a brand new day that God has given us. It is a wonderful day. God is good and He loves us. He loves you, my dear friend, with an everlasting love. And that love is not going to fade away. You can be rest assured that God is with you, God loves you, and God is guiding you. He will protect you. My dear friend, I want to speak to you And the title of my message today is, What Does It Profit a Man If He Gains the Whole World and Yet Loses His Soul? Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, lift up your hands as a sign of surrender and say this out loud with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come and take over control. Lead me closer to Jesus. Show me Jesus. Reveal the scripture to me. Help me to do what is right. Help me to walk in the right way. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, the Bible says in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8, verse 36, It says, For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? I'll read that once again. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? My dear friend, I want to start by saying, So many people are caught up in the trap of working their whole life working hours and hours on end in pursuit of material gain. Now, I'm not necessarily saying material things are bad, like your house, your car. I'm not saying those things are bad. But the Bible says, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world? So he gains all these things, the riches, all these things and yet loses his soul. As born-again believers, we mustn't fall into this trap. We must always remember, we don't serve money, money serves us. We love God, and we serve Him. Money serves us. We do what God has called us to do, and we do it with the leading of the Holy Spirit. But if we lose control, and get into a state where we are constantly working, day and night, pursuing things that are meaningless with regards to the whole of eternity, then we are losing out. You know, I always used to wonder when I see people who have everything, they have all these riches, and yet they are not happy. And then this scripture makes sense. If you truly want to be happy, don't let the love of material possessions consume you. Now, you may have dreams, you may have a vision to go somewhere in life. I'm not saying that is wrong. But what I am saying is, don't lose your soul to gain material possessions. Trust in God. He will give you all that you need in time. He will lead you. He will guide you of how to go and how to go about it and what to do so that you can be successful. There are so many people who have so many things and yet they are not happy. They are not satisfied. They say, okay, I'm going to push until I reach this level. And when they reach there, there's always something else that they want to do. There's always something else that they want to achieve. As a result, they live their whole life in an endless pursuit of different things, trying to satisfy something that can't be satisfied by those material possessions. They end up forfeiting their soul. They end up really unhappy. 
and not truly satisfied. The Bible says, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So God knows what you need. He knows what you want. And as we pray, as we commit them to Him, He will give them to us in due time. But it's absolutely essential that we do not let these material things take over our lives. We have one God, God the Father, the Creator of heaven and earth, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And He loves us with an everlasting love. And we shouldn't allow these other things out there that we pursue to become our gods. But we should rather pursue God Pursue His kingdom and His righteousness. And all these things we need will be added unto us. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world yet forfeits his soul? I'll say that once again. What does it profit a man or a woman if he or she gains the whole world and yet forfeits their soul? It's something to think about because sometimes we may be stuck in this endless pursuit of different things and we miss out on the greatest blessings that God has given us. We miss out on spending time with our loved ones, spending time in God's presence, spending time doing what we really love to do, spending time being happy, spending time with our pets who are also gifts from God. Whether you've got dogs or cats or fish or whatever pet you have, spend time on the correct things. And don't let the love of money or material possessions rob you of true happiness. These things will be given to you in due time. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin by praising and thanking God and then I'm going to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. So let us begin. Father, thank you for another day that you've given us. It is a wonderful day. It is a precious day. It is another day that we can live to the fullest, that we can press on, that we can receive from you. And we will press on, we will receive what you have for us. You are such a good God, you are such a gracious God and a merciful God. And you love us. We are grateful for your love towards us. We are grateful for all that you do for us. We give you praise and we lift up your name. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come. We praise you. Be glorified and be magnified in my life and in my dear friend's life who is watching this video. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. My dear friend, I discern the presence of God. Now we're going to begin to pray. I encourage you comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Give my dear friend the grace not to be consumed with the pursuit of material possessions where they forfeit their soul. But rather help my dear friend to seek first your kingdom and your righteousness and supply all that my dear friend needs in due time. If my dear friend has a life vision and a place that they want to go, something they want to achieve, help them to do it in the right way, my dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter, so that they will not lose out on what you have given them. I ask this in Jesus' name. And give my dear friend peace and happiness. Give my dear friend wisdom and direction. Lead and guide my dear friend in the right way and speak to my dear friend. I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend, and God keep you. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.